We need to pray for Pope Francis and the Catholic Church in general. And then we need to pray for every Pope, every Patriarch, and every church leader. Because what is happening in the church, very sad, very sad, very sad. any church comes to this level and say that we need to embrace LGBTQ, RSTU, VYZ, XY, I don't know what else and it is absolutely normal and it's not against the biblical teachings that is no longer a church and that leader is not a leader anymore no matter who he is what he is I don't really give one penny there are things outside your jurisdiction church leader you are not above the Lord Jesus do you understand you're not and the Lord will reprimand don't ever think that Jesus Christ is all only love and only mercy no 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 he can be very harsh when he comes to punish oh yeah he can be very harsh and he's the only true powerful God ever in existence if you if something Satan is powerful Satan is nothing compared to what Jesus Christ of Nazareth can do nothing Satan is absolutely a little mouse when the line of Judah comes along he becomes a little mouse be gone Satan We need to withstand persecution, not give in, not the flood of the world enters the church and then the church becomes worldly, doing what the world wants, embracing what the world embraces, imitating what the world imitates. It is no longer a church, it's a den of thieves, it becomes a den of thieves. The church needs to be the light. Not darkness. The church needs to speak the truth, not the lie. The church needs to reflect, represent Jesus Christ of Nazareth, not Satan. I'll step on Satan in Jesus' mighty name. And the hell with the world. But we want to bring the world back to the Lord. But for the world to come, and impose dictate things that are worldly to the church over my dead body you only live once i will never die a coward enough of this nonsense man. now i'm really upset now um honestly i don't know what's what's happening in the world seek not the world what's happening in the church is sick i mean the world has always been sick but the church to be this sick that is sickening you can you can marry the lgb and embrace the lgb well go and embrace them you son of a snake you're not enduring persecution where are you standing for the truth? When are you going to stand for the truth? When? And let me tell you this. We're all Christians. I don't care. You're Catholic, you're Orthodox, whatever. We're all Christians. When we see anywhere in Christendom something going wrong, we should all feel the pain, the hurt. Don't say, ah, oh, this is happening in the Catholic Church. I'm Orthodox. I don't care. No, you need to care. 
and you need to pray and you need to ask the Lord Jesus to go and fix what's happening because the Catholic Church is another Christian branch. We need to ask the owner of the church to revive it, to re replenish it and to bring it back to her glorious days. That I have to as a Christian feel upset, angry, hurt because it is my church as well. There are Christians like me. And even the Orthodox world. Stop being fanatics. Fanaticism is not good. It's not healthy. It's ugly. We only, this is the only truth. We hold the truth. I just get a life, man. You don't hold nothing. We have lost, we have lost the true Christ. That's why the church is in turmoil. Blessed are you when you are being persecuted. For my sake, I, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for I will give you myself. Who is this soul? Which is the soul that will receive Christ as the reward? Blessed is the soul. This is what you call a saint. Endured all persecutions, tolerated them, and till the end remained faithful to the Lord Jesus. For at the end, the reward of that soul is God himself. God will give you your himself as a reward. There is no greater reward than this. It surpasses all heavens when God becomes your gift surpasses all heavens surpasses all heaven